All right, good uh, evening. This is uh, Coach Big Pete of Deep Dish Football. Make sure you follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Uh, visit deepdishfootball.com. My email is coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And if you like the work, feel free to leave a uh, tip via link below via PayPal. Um, just a quick reminder, bref- um, not breakfast, Deep Dish Football Live. Wednesday, 8 p.m., going to be talking more about this game as Plainfield North takes on uh, Plainfield East. Now, let's get into a little bit of the thick of the things, talking about the team, talking about the schedule a little bit um, as we get into the Plainfield uh, North roster. And let's do a little quick. So, um, Adam Smith, uh, Will Will Fett, and Danny uh, Nuccio, and there's one more player that graduated as well. I'm trying to find his name. Graduated from Plainfield North. Um, Plainfield North, again, looks really strong again this season. Good running attack as well. Um, good athlete, A good athletic uh, group of uh, wide receivers as well, but I think they're, like, the big the bread and butter of Plainfield North is that uh, good running attack and that defense that's very swarming. Um, they'll knock you on your ass. Uh, Plainfield North has got a great, got a great group of linebackers, good defensive line too, athletic, and again they swarm to the ball. Um, they take uh, great angles and they stick with their assignments. And if you if you can't if um, if you can't do it for high school defense and they can't pay attention to you, uh, you're not going to have a good year. And I really think that Plainfield North is going to have a great season. This uh twenty tw- this twenty twenty one uh, fall, so let's get into the team. Uh, Gr- uh, Grand Zank, a little bit of a wide receiver, six four, also is a basketball player too. Uh, Dylan Ras Mason, another uh, player to watch out for. Um, Dominic uh, Mus- Muscanero, uh, another safety to keep an eye out for, as well. Uh, they got a five nine quarterback to keep an eye out for. Harrison Klein, he's going to be interesting. Uh, definitely keep an eye out. Uh, I really like this kid. I think he's going to grow into something, especially w- with his uh, last two years. I'm playing field north. Gerald Floyd, keep an eye out for Gerald Floyd as well. Uh, Tyler uh, Tor- Tortorich, offensive tackle, 6'2", another interesting uh, person to look for, especially in uh, recruiting. Um, Justin Yazel, I just did an interview from a great kid, uh, def- uh, defensive tackle and a little bit of a middle linebacker. Um, kid's an absolute beast. He can do it all. He's a hybrid. Uh, definitely can keep an eye out for. Really like their fullback, Brett Skull. Uh, he's another interesting point. Kane McCombs, offensive guard, will knock you on your ass. Uh, another tough guy for the Plainfield North. Again, they have an offensive line, a little bit on the small, a little, not that, they're not that big, but they're small and they can knock you on your ass. And, uh, Plainfield North, that offensive line is going to be, uh, be one of their strong points this uh, upcoming season. Also, um, looking for the center was uh, Shane Wartman. He's another interesting player to keep an eye out for as uh, well. The quarterback, um, Harrison Klein, he gets the job done. He is the he is the commander for that offense, and he does a wonderful job. And now uh, I'm forgetting about their star running back. Uh, where is he? Uh, Jared Gomilla, definitely kid to keep an eye out for. He is going to have uh, most likely an all-conference type of year. He's definitely a kid to keep an eye out for this for this upcoming uh, season as uh, well. So we get into the schedule of uh, Plainfield North, and for Plainfield North, um, Plainfield East, good team. That's a good team to start off with. Creep Moni, tough team. Uh, Creep Moni, Creep Moni is, that's going to be a tough game for Plainfield North. Uh, Juliet West, I think Plainfield North can win that game. Plainfield South, I think Plainfield North can uh, edge out Plainfield South. Uh, they got a great running back in Stanton. Yorkville is going to be a tough game, but I think they're going to beat Yorkville. Oswego is going to be is going to be it's going to be tough for Plainfield North. Manuka, another tough team, highly ranked team in the polls. West Aurora, I think that could be a great win for Plainfield North in their last game. Uh, they go against Oswego East with the newly transferred quarterback from Montini, Trey Jones, who's going to be an absolute stud for Oswego East. That's going to be a hell of a game, too. But Plainfield North, you look at it. Um, one, 
they can make the playoffs, and if they get into the playoffs, watch out. Um, you can't you can teach discipline to a lot of these teams, and Plainfield North's a disciplined team. They make great angle tackles. They're good in their defensive assignments. They swarm to the ball, and they're, they will run the ball down your throat. And they are a scary team. If they get into the playoffs, and that cold weather starts to hit, and that ball starts to get a little bit get a little bit heavier, the throws aren't that well. Playing field north could make a run. This team is a very scary team. Do not sleep on playing field north. It's going to be very interesting for to see what they do this season. But I think that running game is just going to be special. It's going to be really special. And I think Harrison Klein too. He's going to have a great thing. And they also have another quarterback as well. I'm forgetting his name. He's he's another hell of a quarterback as well. Uh, but playing field north, do do not sleep on that team, man. Um, and I'm really impressed with the kid that I interviewed today, Yazel. I think he's going to be, he's going to have a great year too, um, as well. Make sure you follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We'll do more magic numbers, final thoughts for the Deep Dish Football game of the week. And I'm excited about this game. Hopefully, it does not rain. Uh, Deep Dish Football live Wednesday at 8 p.m. Um, and again, if you have any questions, uh, coach big Pete, FP at gmail.com. Also, if you like my work, feel free to leave a tip, tip slash donation via PayPal link below. And I'll probably put in the video as well. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day and uh, talk more Plainfield North and Plainfield East tomorrow and Thursday. And we, as we get ready for the first game of the week, deep this football game of the week is chosen by you. Plainfield North takes on Plainfield East. It should be a lot of fun. Have a great night.